printed out at the same size to create this effect. This one was printed out but in various sizes to give you this kind of layered look. To make this 3D decoupage picture, choose the design you want and print out as many as you need to build up the design. Then roughly cut out the, your first design and then start cutting it out in more detail. Now I'm just going to go not right up to the edge, I'm just going to leave a nice little white border all the way around. As you can see there's the white border. That's the first section cut out. Now this is the second section you can see I've cut out this darker pink section so it's not on the second one. From the next section I'm going to cut just this blue ring out to give you that. From the next section I'm going to leave the blue ring off to give you that. On the next section I'm cutting out all the red sections to leave that. Next I cut all the leaves off to leave that. Next I cut off two of the flowers so it's just one flower. Then the next sections we cut out from three of the flowers and this one is just all the centerpieces. What I've done here, I've taken one of the pink cards, a square six by six inch card, and I've made some um, background paper in the bubble, blue and white, and I've also stuck on the top some silver card as well. Just layered that up nicely. Now the colour should match perfectly with this one here. That's going on first. Now make sure you get the first one exactly how you want it. And I think I'm going to have it like that. I've got some double-sided pads on the back there, which is just sticking that down. Next, you can position the next layer on there. And you must get it perfectly right. It's good if you stand over it. Um, that can go on there. That's your second layer going down. Next, the third layer is going on there. And let's just position this precisely. Let's go in there like that. The next layer is going on now. Don't forget, double-sided pads on the back. Let's position this right. And that's going just there. Next, the flowers and the leaves. Position those there like that. Now just the flowers. Then just a single flower. Going on there. And finally, the three little centers of the cards. That's one, two, and three. Finished. The other way of doing 3D decoupage is to print out the sheets and the designs in various sizes. In this case, we've chosen five sizes of the same design. Roughly cut out all the five designs. And then with a pair of scissors, just go cutting around the large one first. Now the large one will be going down, so leave a little white border all the way around. But on the other, one, two, three, four, go right up to the red edge. When they're all cut out, just put some double-sided pads on the back. Any size, I've got some larger ones on the back of that one. And on this particular design, I've just stuck a little jewel in the middle of the last one. Now we're ready to make the card. I've already put some layers on. This is a 6 inch by 6 inch card in a nice grey. I've stuck some nice red card with some holographic paper underneath to give it a nice border. And what I'm going to do is stick the first image on. Now, as you can see, because I left the white border all the way around, 
this actually makes it stand out much better as if it was red on red. I could have changed the colour, obviously, but I'm just going to stick that first one down like so. Now I can stick the next layer on. Now I've got a choice here. I can actually set it like that so it's slightly off centre. I can alter the design as I go along. Or I can do the design so it exactly follows. I'm going to do the design so it exactly follows. Just line it up and stick it down like so. And the next layer goes in. Um, that's going to go there. Then the next layer. And that's going to go just there. And finally.